let us now see how can you catch these exception that is nothing but the errors or the exception that you receive how will you hold them how will you run an exception handler how it works so it says that a method throws your exception and this exception which is thrown it includes a throw clause what a method does it includes a throw clause and this throw clause includes or consists of all the kind of exception that has occurred in the program and now there are mainly three things or three keywords that you need to understand in order to handle exceptions these are try catch and finally what each one of them does a try block is something which identifies or which allows you to write your program where the exception may occur and then once you know where the exception may occur then you need to also know who will handle this kind of an exception so in this case let us understand with the help of an example where how do you write first of all the syntax with the help of a try keyword which starts with a lower case open and close braces where you will write the code where you are expecting or suspecting or anticipating where the error may occur that code is written under your try block follow to a try block immediately you need to write catch a catch block is followed immediately after your try block so catch in the bracket you need to provide what kind of an exception may occur in this particular code and then you block you close this block with the number of codes or the message that you would want to pass so let us see with the help of this example where we have created a class called file not found exception so this class will help us understanding if the file is not found what kind of an exception will occur and how can you handle exception one important point to remember that to handle the exception try catch block is at most important because this makes you understand where or which block of statements the error has occurred and which block of statements will handle this exception and the block of uh, statements that will handle the exceptions are nothing but your exception handler so here you write try keyword and here you are trying to write file input stream like you are trying to find a file and then read or print the output whatever the data is available in your file for an example in your file called welcome you have a data called welcome to tutorials point so you are trying to call that file and then read the data of this file and display the output so you write file input stream equal fis which is the object equals to new file input stream now you are trying to call this particular file which exists at e drive sample folder welcome exception.txt is your file name now this file has been stored in your this object fis now you will read this object to read the data of this particular file and then print in order to read what you do is that you need to read the file until it is minus 1 that is until you reach to your last character or last input of that particular file but you need to store or if you have to iterate you need certain variable for iteration so you write int i and in while loop you say i equal to read the data from fis where read is your method so fis dot read until it is equal to minus 1 keep storing it in i and then print the value i if you just write print of i then it will print your index number and not the character or the data that is available in your file but we want to print the value or the data which is available in file so we are cascading the i with character type finally we are saying this block of statement what what kind of an exception may occur in this what is that that you are trying to read a file and you are not able to why because the file does not exist it means you can anticipate what kind of an exception may occur so let us write an exception handler immediately after the block of statements which will handle the kind of an exception that may occur so you write catch which is a keyword in the bracket there is an exception called file not found exception this is a kind of an exception you have throwable class exception is a subclass then 
file not found exception is a subclass of your exception. So this is file not found exception. You need to create what kind of an object it is. Then that is file not found exception. This e object will hold the entire information. Where did the exception occur? What kind of an exception it occurred? And what is the status of your program? And then in the bracket, we are trying to execute to print what kind of an exception has occurred. So this if the file is not found, it will print file not found exception has occurred. Let us see another example to understand what happens if there are any runtime exceptions where you have declared this is the size but it is exceeding that. So you have another example where we have created an int of array and the size is 2. The array size is 2 but we are trying to initialize the value at array size 3 that we say that at index 3 we need to provide the value 100 whereas our length is 2 right so we are saying access element 3 is so and so please print the value at a3 that is the value that have you have provided but if the length of array is only 2 can you provide the value at 3 no therefore it will throw you an exception that is you can anticipate what kind of an exception may occur in this particular block so you need to write under the try block where the exception occurs so in these statements the exception may occur therefore you write that in your try block the next thing immediately follow you need to write a catch block which is nothing but your exception handler so in catch block you provide what kind of an exception it is here it is array index out of bound exception because the length is 2 and we are trying to provide the value at 3 then you are trying to print the exception and the exception information is stored in e which is nothing but will, will show you the status of your program and what kind of an exception has occurred and finally after the try catch block outside we are trying to print out of the block so let us execute these programs practically to understand how these kind of an exceptions are thrown and how can we handle these exception with the help of a try catch block in this example we shall see how can we declare a try catch block to hold or to catch an exception which is of a type file not found exception. In our previous chapters we have already read how can you read or write a file. So let us use the previous examples to better understand about the exceptions. Here we have created a class called file not found exception and in that we have written a main method and what is this throws io exception will come on it. First let us see what are the block of statements written under that where we are using try and catch block. So under try we write the block of statements that needs to be executed that may throw an error. So what exactly do we write under try catch and then finally is also there is a final block. So under try it tries identifying a block of code that or in which exceptions will occur. Okay, and what will catch to catch will also identify a block of code that will handle this exception that is nothing but exception handler. There is something called as a finally block also which is nothing but which guarantees you that the certain files or something that are open will close. So it guarantees certain execution. You may have n number of catch blocks. Okay, but then for necessary you should have either one catch or one finally block. So let us see in our example in try block as we said the certain codes that may throw an error that needs to be written in a try block. So we create a file where we write file input stream fis is the object name equal to new file input stream where we are trying to read this file we are trying to read this line and display or print the text in this file right. So in order to display or read the file we create an integer uh, value. So integer variable is i and this i will read the file until it is minus 1 and print with char i. This should be in a try block y because we need 
to assume or we need to understand what kind of exceptions your code may throw. So in this case, I think our, our code may throw a file not found exception or IO exception. Why file not found exception? I have provided a file here called welcome exep which is lying under sample folder in a drive it may it may not exist if it exists it will display the message if it does not exist then the file not found exception should be catched so we have written a catch block where you write a catch keyword then in the brackets you write what kind of an exception it is we say file not found exception and then you need to provide an object to it which will display the message of that kind so we have written e you may write anything a b c or a b c any name that you would want to give then you open a curly braces to execute a block of statements that you would want i want to display what kind of a message it is which will be stored in a this is nothing but exception handler which helps you understanding what kind of an error it is and what is the status of your program when did this error occur so the other one which i spoke about was throws io exception this particular block of statements where it is trying to read the file until it is minus one may throw an io exception we can catch this exception by writing another catch block like catch keyword then we provide io exception and we can give the name which may be the same or different and we write system dot out dot print ln and then the message the one way to catch the exception is by writing in the catch block and the other way to write what kind of an exception it may occur is throws io exception comma you can write following the other exceptions like file not found exception or any exception so let us see the first way let us save this file and then run as you can see it says that we were successfully able to read the file so they were able to find a file called welcome exception in a sample folder let us write an any random file name maybe abcd save this program and run to see what kind of an exception it occurs it says that java io file not found exception this particular file was not found it says that the exception name is file not found exception and what kind of an exception what kind of a value it holds it will print that so it says that we were unable to find this particular file right so the system cannot find the file specified